Today, I'm going to deliver a lecture, a real analysis lecture one on basics. So, first of all, when we are going to discuss a real analysis uh, about real numbers, uh, we have to discuss about on uh, basics. Okay. So, for a real analysis set, uh, uh, for defining, I require some basics. For that, uh, I'm going to deliver a lecture on real analysis lecture one on basics by dr p ramlu head of department of mathematics so mbs government Arts and science college mahabub nagar so what is set uh, generally the mathematics people are used to this set set theory are generally used uh, the most of the people not understanding what is the set. Uh, they are simple saying that uh, it is contains some elements. Uh, they are feeling like that. Okay, so I want to go some differently. I want to go to explain some differently. If it is uh, no, we can easily understood the problem. What is the set? Okay, we have to remember forever. Uh, that is I uh, required. Right? Uh, what is the definition of set? First of all. I want to define set so uh, later I will explain how the definition will become on this set right collection of well-defined distinct object is called a set the collection of well-defined distinct object is called a set so in Telugu, Samiti Antenna is ante Sunarvichita Vibhinna Vastula Samu Vastula Nu Lelende Mula Kala Nu Emanta Vante Samiti Antenna right Here uh, generally uh, this term not used well defined term not used the people who are saying that collection of object or collection of elements or collection of numbers they are saying like this so but uh, here the definition well defined is uh, very important well defined is a very crucial for term sunarvichita vibhinna vastulnu leda mulakalanu emanta ante samiti antam kabatti here so uh, this term well defined sunarvichitam okay or crucial terms when we are defining set okay the set theory notations how will notate the set theory notations right generally the set for notating it will be showing in set row in the symbol of flower bracket uh, enclosing this set this is the uh, number set but this equal to uh, we have to choosing in mathematics so uh, uppercase letters that means uh, capital a capital b capital c up to capital z up to so on whichever we can may take uh, for general notation, right? In usually real answers, we will take that cat S is set, right? So that I am taking that S is equal to singleton zero generally. So in my class, I am taking that S is equal to set. So that will be capital S. The elements of the set, right? Uh, here uppercase designate the set names. Lower case designate the set of elements, right? So the set which contains the elements or lower lower case only okay, small a small b small c up to so on we may take some numbers so we may take some symbols so etc mathematical symbols so we may take some names also or oh, in differently we may have uh, we have to make we may collect some other uh, a different type of elements so we may write some manual names in this set right so this is the notations of set theory this is all the notations what is the uh, what are the symbols uh, we have used to in set theory here this is belonging to suppose if uh, a capital a equal to i'm writing this is the single term it is contain some number one two three four five so that means one belonging to two if i suppose suppose if i take that uh, s is equal to one two three four five this contains only one element, one, two, three elements. So, so 
so that's why if i take one belonging to uh one contain this set right that means one belonging to s two belonging to s three belonging to s four belonging to s five belonging to s this is does not belonging to suppose if i take uh, s equal to 1 2 3 4 5 that means one belonging to s two belongs to s three belongs to s if i take 6 6 does not belonging to this set so when we are suppose small a does not belong to set so this symbols you are using that whether the elements or in the set or not if it is this you can use this symbol if it is not you can use does not belong to set so what is this uh, subset or equal to okay uh, we can compare two sets we can compare two sets subset or equal to that means uh, if i take a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so b is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means uh, a contains up to five elements b contains up to seven elements so that means a e subset or equal to b a e subset strictly if i take that a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b equal to 1 2 3 4 5 that means in this case we can write here a equal to b subset row, strictly subset row. if i take a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 that means a is strictly subset that means you can write proper subset it is not equal to if i take a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 here these two uh, 1 2 3 4 5 b a, a and b are same elements so that means so uh, a equal to b that means not proper subset only it is subset if i take a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so uh, a is proper subset of b does not subset of any set uh, this symbol is does not subset if I take uh, a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, b is equal to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In this case, what happened? Here does not contain element of b. Also, b is also not contain any element of a. Here we may write a is not subset of b and b is not subset of a. We may write any symbol. Suppose otherwise you can take that uh, a is equal to uh, a, b, c, d, b is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can easily recognize that any of element does not contain this set. That's why either A not subset of B or the B is not subset of O. Yeah, you can use this symbol. This is superset. So similarly, if I take A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, B is equal to 1, 2, 3, that means A is containing more than element B and all elements in B, therefore A is super subset of B. So you can take that A is equal to A, B, C b is equal to small a b c and uh, a, a has a b c d b has only a b c that means a is subset of b this symbols in set we can write this symbol such that so that means uh, in set theory we, we have to use uh, a condition which is uh, useful to define a set okay uh, we may use this kind of symbols in set 3 this is cardinality of a set cardinality of a set cardinal the number of elements of a set is called cardinality of a set we may use union intersection okay perfect a complement, B complement. Like this, you can use later. You have to all not uh, mentioned here. So union, I understand also very important. To A minus B, A plus B minus A. That means A complement, B complement. Uh, we may use uh, this kind of symbols or later. So these are the notations of symbols. Okay. Yeah. Examples of a set. Okay, uh, this OLED annotate, I mentioned some notations of set theory. What are the examples? If you understood the example only, we have to uh, define the set. Actually, uh, we will understand the definition of set. A simple example I am writing here. Yeah. S. 
is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, simple example is S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. X, uh, X is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is a simplest example. Just now I already explained you. That means we have well defined. This set contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements only. If I ask someone, they have to say that uh, the set contains uh, only elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only, not other elements. Uh, also, other examples, right? Uh, other example. So, students in the class. Students in the class. Generally, we may explain students in the class. How many students? Uh, the boys or girls? Nothing or happens. That if I take that, uh, students in the class, they are studying same subjects. We have given some relations. Okay, students in the class. Okay, benches in the class, trees in the school. Okay, or uh, we may uh, animals in the zoo. Like that, we may define different examples of say to. Instead of S, you can take that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can take that S is equal to 1, 2, 3 only. S is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, I see also. S is equal to. We may define different type of sets. Different type of set, right? Uh, some numbers. A little we will mention all number set, number system also. So, these are the example uh, generally I will use in my syllabus. Oh, if I I want to asking, uh, give an example which is not a set. I want to ask, uh, give an example which is not separate. If I have student, this is uh, so very, uh, they are thinking that, how, how, how. Okay, uh, in basic level, the students, the teachers will explain. So what is the non-example of set? Uh, simple example, non-example is... Uh, Stores in the sky is not a set. Stores in the sky is not a set. Why? Okay. Uh, they are explaining stores in the not a set to the people who are asking why is not a set. Generally, we have to explain the student why it is not a set. If you explain difference between set and non set, we will understood the definition. Uh, this is a beautiful example, right? Why? Because uh, entire mathematics topics is depend on set. Major topic on basic, not basic level. After the, when we are entering graduation close, it may be useful to, to the students. Uh, uh, so, uh, these are the examples of a set, right? So, I want to give a task to the student generally in basic level for, for defining a set uh, if I ask students they will say that collection of elements collection of groups so these kind of examples are asking that's why I will define different way collection of will define distinct objects so I want to understood student how we define the set okay so that's why I'm taking here yeah so now I want to give a task to the students. What we have observed here, what we have observed here, it has containing some elements up to one, two, three, up some numbers we have, right? Okay, if I want to ask the student, okay, I'll strictly pick up uh, all the students in the class, okay, I want to, what can I ask you can do? Uh, take paper okay. write these numbers in the increasing order right I want to go into us so uh, question arrange these numbers in increasing order okay XYZ persons my students so will they will explain okay what they will do quickly so they will take paper okay uh, they will write all numbers increasing order only. Uh, 
I am I feel that uh, this imaging contains also up to nine element nine digits only. Yeah, we have seen that one four seven five three. Back side two six eight four. All 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 other numbers are appearing in this image. So generally, uh, they will say that uh, oh it is easy right. Uh, so uh, they will explain that uh, it is answer is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine only. Okay, so this is all normal elements only. These are the increasing order only. Okay, if I ask the student, uh, uh, they will show this only. It is very easy. Why? Because uh, this increasing order, right? Uh, it is easy, right? Suppose if I ask a different question. Okay. Uh, yeah, but we have observed here. Oh, stars in the sky. Stars in the sky. Stars in the sky is not a set. Just now, already I explained. Stars in the sky is not a set. Just now, already I explained. Why it is not a set? If I ask students this question, generally in classroom I will ask to the students, so uh, you can do this work. Okay, for yeah, arrange the stores in increasing order. I want to make a question to the student. Arrange the stores in the increasing order. So generally, in my class, I picked some students up to five, six members. Okay, all you can take that. Uh, all students. Okay, uh, you uh, I will ask to the student. Uh, are in the stores in the increasing order. Oh, how? Oh, it is uh, very difficult, right? Uh, they are seeing that the big store. Oh, okay, you may feel that uh, this is a big store and uh, this is big store and this is uh, some other big store. Next to this big store. Next to this is big store. Next to big, big store. This is big. Next to big. Next to big, right? Okay, uh, we have recognized it. Uh, the biggest store in this picture. My question is: Arrange the stores in the increasing order, right? I want to choose smaller and smaller. First of all, I want to that uh, smaller and smaller star. In my perception, if I choose smaller and smaller star, if I choose if this is okay. Uh, in between there, uh, I feel that this there will some small store here. If I ask my students, they will uh, okay. Different student select different stores first. Okay. If I have hundred students, hundred students select hundred different store first. Their first stories. Maybe some uh, two three people or maybe uh, will choose same stores. Okay. In this picture. Some two three people maybe choose some same star, but uh, all are not same. If I choose next star, okay. If I choose this is next first star, I want to choose some other. Maybe this is second star, this is third star, this is fourth star, this is seventh star, eighth star, ninth star, tenth star. Okay, uh, so these are the my perception. These are the my perception of. Choosing the store. Okay. Okay. Similarly, if I ask my student, uh, the first star may be equal, the second star cannot be equal. Okay. Sum of second star may be equal to sum. Sum of the second star may be equal to this one, right? Similarly, if they are writing increasing order, the first and second star, third and star may not be equal to the whole student. The entirely, right? The entirely stores uh, increasing order may be different to the everyone. So I want to explain in Telugu a little bit. Uh, I was okay. Uh, I Telugu lo sunrite vasto samdaya nam kaapati. Then explain kya dhan ki. Is a manchu udhara na. Ne nenchestu na ante. I nakshatra lano aro na kamolo ro ayam antu na. ఆరోన క్రమం రాయమంటే ఏమంటున్నాను దానికోసం ఏం చేయాలంటే ఆరోన క్రమంలో రాయాలి అంటే 
ఇక్కడ ఉన్న నక్షత్రాలను చిన్న ఫస్ట్ సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి నేను ఒక సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకున్నాను అనుకోండి ఒక చిన్న స్టార్ సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకున్నాను అనుకోండి ఇంకొకరు వాళ్ళ దృష్టిలో వేరేది చిన్న స్టార్ కావచ్చు ఇంకొక దృష్టిలో వేరేది చిన్న స్టార్ కావచ్చు ఈయన ఇది అనుకుంటే ఇంకొకరు ఇది అనుకోవచ్చు ఇంకోటి ఇది కావచ్చు ఇంకోటి ఇది కావచ్చు ఇది కావచ్చు ఇది కావచ్చు ఇక్కడ నక్షత్రాలు చాలా ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి ఒక్కొక్కరికి ఒక్కొక్క స్టార్ అనేది చిన్నది కావచ్చు నేను వంద మంది స్టూడెంట్ ఉంది అనుకుంటే ఆ వంద మందిలో వంద రకాలటువంటి స్టార్స్ డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్గా కనిపిస్తూ ఉంటాయి ఆ వంద రకాలలో ఒక టూ త్రీ మెంబర్స్ మేబీ సెలెక్ట్ సేమ్ స్టార్స్ ఇది ఇప్ప చిన్న స్టార్ అనుకున్నాను అనుకోండి మిగతా వాళ్ళు కూడా అదే చిన్న స్టార్ అనేది ఓకే చిన్న స్టార్ అనేది అనుకోవచ్చు ఆ ద్వారా దృష్టిలో ఓకే ఫస్ట్ స్టార్లో రాసాము ఫస్ట్ స్టార్ అనేది రాసినప్పుడు ఒక్కొక్క చిన్న స్టార్ కనిపించవచ్చు అందులో వంద మందికి ఈక్వల్ కావచ్చు నెక్స్ట్ స్టార్ రాయాలి కదా ఫస్ట్ వంద రాసి వంద మంది రాసిన ఫస్ట్ స్టార్ అయ్యేది సెకండ్ స్టార్ రాసినప్పుడు ఇంతకుముందు ఏదైతే ఈక్వల్ అనుకున్నా సెకండ్ స్టార్ ఈక్వల్ అవసరం లేదు థర్డ్ స్టార్ రాసిన అనుకోండి థర్డ్ స్టార్ కూడా ఈక్వల్ అవసరం లేదు ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ఆర్డర్ అనేది ఏమవుతుందంటే వంద మంది స్టార్స్ రాసినప్పుడు వంద మంది ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ఆర్డర్ అనేది వంద రకాలుగా ఉంటుంది so we are unable to judge in this situation okay whereas in previously so we had to clear previously if i ask to the student write this number in increasing order the simply write that equal to that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ee dantlo em chesina ante students nu aaru number 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 raayam ante em chesina ante vallu 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 అని ఈజీగా క్లియర్గా రాసే ఉంటుంది కానీ ఇక్కడ వచ్చినప్పుడు మనకి ఏమవుతుందంటే రాయడానికి రావట్లేదు క్లిక్గా రాయడానికి రావడం లేదని సో ఎక్కడ స్టార్స్ ఇక్కడైతే ఈజీగా రాసాను అనమాట ఇప్పుడు వంద మంది రాసినా కూడా ఈ ఇంక్రీజ్ కావడం అనేది మారదు వంద మంది కూడా ఒకేలాగా ఉన్నది ఇంక్లూడింగ్ మీ ఆల్సో బట్ హియర్ ద ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ఆర్డర్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ టు హండ్రెడ్ మెంబర్స్ రైట్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ఆర్డర్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ సో వీఆర్ అనేబుల్ టు జడ్ ఇక్కడ పది వంద మంది యొక్క హార్మోన్ క్రమం అనేది వేరే వేరే ఉన్నది ఇంతకుముందు అట్లేట్ ఉన్నది సేమ్ ఉన్నది ఓకే అంటే ఏంటిది అంటే ఎవరు చెప్పినా కూడా ఒకేలాగా ఉంటే దాన్ని ఏమంటాం అంటే సమితి అంటాం సింపుల్ బై అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఒకదానికి ఒకటి పొందం లేకుండా ఉంటే దాన్ని ఏమంటాం అంటే సమితి కాదండి ఇక్కడ ఏమంటే అంటే నేను క్వశ్చన్ ఇచ్చాను అరేంజ్ చేయమన్నాను ఒక సిమ్టమ్స్ కనుగొమన్నాను కనుగొమ్మన్నప్పుడు ఏమైంది అంటే ఇందుట్లో ఒక్కొక్క రకాలకి ఒక్కొక్క లాభ ఉంది కాబట్టి అనేబుల్ టు జడ్జి చేస్తున్నాం కాబట్టి సో దీన్ని ఏమన్నామంటే సమితి కాదని అన్నాం ఈ విధంగా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసుకున్నాం అనుకోండి ఫ్యూచర్లో చాలా బాగుంటుంది అనమాట అంటే ఏంటి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసేటప్పుడు మీరు కూడా మీ స్టూడెంట్స్ చెప్పాలి సో అంటే ఏంటి సో ఈ ఇది ఎందుకు కాదు అనే విషయాన్ని క్లియర్గా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయడం జరిగింది సో తరగతి గదిలో ఏం చేస్తుంటామంటే ఒక ఐదు ఆరు మంది స్టూడెంట్స్ తీసుకుంటాను ఒక టెన్ మెంబర్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ తీసుకుంటాను ఓకే హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇన్ ద క్లాస్ హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద టెన్ స్టూడెంట్ ఇన్ ద క్లాస్ కెన్ రైట్ ఓకే ఈజ్ నాట్ ఎ సెట్ సో పది మంది పది రకాలు రాసినప్పుడు హైట్ ఏం చేస్తారంటే ఆ టెన్ మెంబర్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఎక్స్ వై జెడ్ ఏబిసి వై అప్ టు ఏబిసి ఓకే పర్సన్ తీసుకుని ఏబిసి డిఈఎఫ్ జిహెచ్ ఐజెడ్ అంటే ఒక నెంబర్స్ ఏదైనా ఒక వ్యక్తులను తీసుకున్నాను వ్యక్తులను తీసుకున్నప్పుడు ఈ ఏబిసి టెన్ మెంబర్స్ రాశాను ఆ టెన్ మెంబర్స్ హైట్ రాయమన్నప్పుడు నా దగ్గర స్టూడెంట్స్ ఏం చేస్తారంటే హైట్ అనేది ఒక చిన్న అనిపించవచ్చు ఒక పెద్ద అనిపించవచ్చు కొందరు అందులో పెద్ద వాళ్ళు పెద్ద ఉండొచ్చు చిన్న వాళ్ళు చిన్న వచ్చి ఇది జడ్జ్ చేయడం మధ్య వాళ్ళని జడ్జ్ చేయడానికి కష్టమవుతుంది ఆ ఆర్డర్ రాసినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది అంటే అది అనేబుల్ టు జడ్జ్ అంటే ఇది కరెక్ట్గా లేకుండా సేమ్ దీనిలాగానే ఇఫ్ ఐ హ్యాస్ మై స్టూడెంట్ హైట్ ద ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ దే ఆర్ అనేబుల్ టు రైట్ సో దట్స్ వై ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ సెట్ సో ఎవరు చెప్పిన ఒకేలాగా ఉంటే వెల్ డిఫైన్ సునరుచితం అంటాము ఎవరు చెప్పిన వేరే వేరే ఉంటే దాన్ని ఏమంటే సునరుచితం కాదు అంటాము ద కొలెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ వెల్ డిఫైన్ డిస్టింగ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ కోల్డ్ ఏ సెట్ సో సునరుచిత 
విభిన్న వస్తువులను లేదా మూలకాలను ఏమంటామంటే పంపి అంటాం కాబట్టి సో దాన్ని ఎక్కువగా మర్చిపోవద్దు డిస్టిక్ ఎందుకన్నా అంటే సమితిలో రాసినప్పుడు చూడాలి సమితిలో ఒక నెంబర్ రెండు సార్లు రాయడానికి ఒప్పుకోదు ఇట్ ఈస్ డిస్టింక్ డిస్టింక్ అని ఉండాలి కాబట్టి ఒకవేళ సమితిలో ఒక నెంబర్ రెండోసారి రాయడానికి ఆస్కారము లేదు ఇది సమితి యొక్క డెఫినేషన్ సో ఆ విధంగా మనము ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసుకోవాలి కామన్ నేచురల్ నెంబర్ సెట్స్ కామన్ నేచురల్ నెంబర్ సెట్ కామన్ నెంబర్ సెట్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ నెంబర్ సిస్టమ్ యా సో దిస్ ఆర్ ద ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ దీస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఇన్ ద క్లాస్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఇన్ ద క్లాస్ ఇట్ యూ వెరీ యూజ్ఫుల్ ఇట్ యూ వెరీ యూజ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ఫర్దర్ స్టడీస్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ నేచురల్ నెంబర్ సెట్ రైట్ నేచురల్ నెంబర్ సెట్ కంటైన్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ అప్ టు సో వన్ ఓకే ద సింప ద నెంబర్ సిస్టమ్స్ స్టోటింగ్ ది దే ఆర్ స్టడీ దట్ దిస్ ఇస్ కౌంటింగ్ నెంబర్ వీ కెన్ దట్ నేచురల్ నెంబర్ కౌంట కౌంటింగ్ నెంబర్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దే ఇంట్రొడ్యూస్డ్ దిస్ నేచురల్ నెంబర్ సెట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ వన్ టూ త్రీ అప్ టు సో వన్ సెకండ్ ఈస్ ఓల్డ్ నెంబర్స్ దిస్ సెట్ ఓ కంటైన్ అదర్ నెంబర్స్ ఓన్లీ జీరో ఎక్స్ట్రా నెంబర్ సో దట్స్ వై ఎన్ నాట్ ఎన్ నాట్ అదే బట్ దిస్ సెట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా నెంబర్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ సమ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా నెంబర్ దట్ ఈస్ జీరో ఓకే దిస్ ఇస్ వెరీ క్రూషల్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఆస్క్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ in natural numbers or does not have zero whereas 10 has a element in zero one zero right what is the difference between zero and 10 zero already uh, after na- finding natural numbers so we found all numbers so that means zero included in the set we are denoting that is all number but uh, natural number already included zero right let us they can found that zero is has some number okay so what is the different uh, okay so you may okay you may understood the problem right or you may think in like okay, what is the different between 10 and 0 so uh, already appear in 0 in 10 later we found that uh, w has singular and 0 it is 1 2 3 4 5 so natural number is uh, different from old numbers whereas only one extra number is zero next we have included integers z that equal to minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so 0 1 2 3 up to so so similarly simple you can write here 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 Uh, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, right? Uh, integer set is denoted by capital Z. Here, natural number set is the whole number set. See, be careful when we are writing mathematical symbol. This is mathematical symbol. N is a mathematical symbol. W is a mathematical symbol. Z is a mathematical symbol. Uh, the people, generally, they are written as uh, N. Uh, you are not agree that. Why? Because uh, N is... Uh, capital M, N is nothing but uh, that is English letter N. If I write N only, this N only, so it will be the mathematical symbol. Uh, capital N appear here, right? This is mathematical symbol. This is mathematical symbol. If generally, uh, usually the people are written here N. N nothing but it is not a mathematical symbol. So, when we are writing in the class you have to write n w z rest numbers uh, yeah rest number all numbers in the form of p by q and p comma q or integers whereas q is not zero here q is not equal to zero uh, we are missing here q not equal to zero 
what happened if Q equal to zero? Q is equal to zero, so it is infinite. Zero by something or something by zero is infinite. That's why we may not put Q is equal to zero. That may here I mean the set Q not equal to zero. P comma Q are integers, whereas Q not equal to zero. The elements in the fractional form are the called rational numbers. Irrational number, non-rational numbers. That means so, if we have some rational numbers and irrational numbers, what is the difference between rational and rational? That means here even number all root to root values simply. Minus root values as well as plus root values. So minus root values are uh, also irrational numbers only. So non-repeating, non-terminating numbers are called irrational numbers. Non-repeating or non-terminated numbers are called okay, irrational numbers. So uh, you may write uh, uh, root two. Root two means one point four one four up to so. It is like coming like this. Even though the people are writing uh, pi, pi is also irrational number. E exponential number, E also a irrational number, right? What is the difference between pi? Pi is equal to general division as 22 by 7, right? 22 by 7 equal to 3.14. Oh, pi may be is writing 3.14. 3.14 but uh, I am asking that uh, pi equal to 3.14. 3.14 may equal to 314 by 100. Uh, oh, you may write that equal to 22 by 7. 22 by 7 equal to what is so? Uh, that is a rational number. Why? Because in the part of in the it is in the pro in the form of p by q. That 22 by 7 is a rational number. We are asking here pi is equal to 22 by 7 is irrational number. What is the major difference between this and that? Okay. Here we are assuming that it is approximately equal to. 22 by 7, 3.14. That's why we are writing 22 by 7. But pi is still we are counting up to digit pi to 3.14 up to so and so all these things. Uh, like this, it is continuously happen. Continuously, so it is coming, still is going work on this pi. So not terminating, not repeated. Uh, that kind of numbers are called to Irrational numbers, okay. real numbers. All the rational and irrational numbers are all core irrational numbers. Rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers. That means uh, R is equal to Q union. This is mathematical notation. Or Mathematical notation. Generally, you can write two, okay, or like this, two lines and or like this, right? So this is mathematical symbol. In so in my topic, real numbers, I want to discuss only about real numbers. So this is real answer, right? That therefore it is a real number. So. Next, imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers, it has i equal to root minus 1. Numbers containing i is equal to root minus 1. So, that means uh, it is imaginary number, complex numbers. A plus B i, such that A and B are reals, where i is equal to minus 1. This set is uh, super set of 4. This set contains a plus b i and a and b are reals i equal to root minus 1. So, uh, in this topic, I am not uh, going to discuss complex numbers. I want to discuss only real numbers. Entire syllabus, I want to discuss only real numbers. Uh, see, uh, this is first natural numbers. Natural number after that integers, any subset of Z, or you can write it, Z is superset of N, Q is superset of Z, R is superset of Z, 
see its complex number this contain whole numbers right real number as well as imaginary numbers rational and irrational numbers are called complex numbers rational and irrational numbers are sorry real and real and imaginary numbers are called complex numbers real numbers and imaginary numbers are included complex numbers so this figure we have to remember natural integers rational real imaginary and complex so uh, this figure if you remember uh, it is very useful right uh, the number system how to remember natural number actually we missed some old number oh, you can write here the integer subset of old number also oh, i'm not writing here uh, this is uh, about the sets and number system examples set and exam number system of examples oh right types of set what are the types of sets i am mentioned some sets here empty set okay empty set you can write uh, symbol pi only pi is equal to empty set that means empty set is but uh, this set does not contain any elements this does not contain any set so that's why this set is called empty set singleton set singleton set nothing but uh, a set only containing one element suppose s is equal to one singleton one singleton two singleton three a b c that means a set which is containing one so that is singleton set finite set so i am not discussing definition of finite set finite set but it contains only finite element right uh, this is definition is differently i will explain later uh, finite set infinite set uh, the set which is containing finite number element that is s is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 okay this is finite set infinite set infinite set this case containing this set contains only uh, sorry infinite element that means uh, if i take natural number set n up to so on 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to so on integers z 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 up to so on uh, that means uh, this our number system or infinite sets we may write in a different way also we will choose uh, in my topics writing differently uh, that is infinite set equal set equal set nothing but a is equal to b that means a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 that means a and b are equal set that means two set have containing same elements so two sets are containing the same elements are called equal sets or oh, equivalent set equivalent set nothing but oh, suppose a is equal to 1 2 3 4 b is equal to a b c d e the number of elements of a and the number of elements of b or the same the number of elements of a number of elements of b equal to same then there is that a comma b o equivalent to sets universal set okay we will explain now okay universal set oh. That means so uh, uh, digits one two three up to okay universal sets of digits are zero one two three four five nine oh that means universal set subset already just now already we discussed it so then nothing but oh, suppose uh, uh, a is equal to one two three four five b is equal to one two three that b subset of e proper subset proper subset just now startingly we have to explain proper subset nothing but oh, here a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 1 2 3 that means b is proper subset of a superset same example a is superset of b proper superset so a is proper subset of just now 1 to the a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 b is equal to 1 2 3 that means a is proper set of proper subset of sorry proper superset of b power set that means uh, suppose a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 the set of all power set of the but the set of all subsets of the set of all subsets of s is called power set that means uh, 
S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose I am taking that Y is equal to 1, 2 only. Simple example. What is the power set of S? That means uh, S is equal to power set of S is power set of S is different by power P of S. Uh, okay, so power set of S is equal to um, what we uh, denotate that singleton 1, singleton 2, singleton 1, two, sorry, empty set and 1, 2. These are the power set of S. First of all, we choose that S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, you define the power set singleton 1, singleton 2, 3, singleton 3, singleton 4, singleton 5. Next to singleton 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 2, 3, 2, 4, like this. You can take more like that or can different type of set we will get. So we will get the power sets. Yeah. Uh, just now we already we discussed this thing. Uh, even the set, uh, okay. Uh, the collection of, you can define the collection of uh, distinguishable object simple already just now we already denotation element and objects in the set of elements are called objects in the set element objects in the uh, set is called elements universal set the set of all elements under the consideration of particular context also called the sample space or example inner set of digits 0 to 1 2 3 4 5 this is the universal set subset See, there O is a subset of o, D. Uh, this is also proper subset O and also D is super subset O and proper super subset O. We may write different type of relations. So, uh, we may write in simply uh, O is subset of O D. Complement. All the elements of universal set that do not belong to subset. Here, <coughs> O complement. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. O has 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. O complement is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. O complement is 0, 2, 4, 6, right? So that means uh, the complement of O is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Uh, these are the complements. That means we have to complement nothing but we have to element uh, remove the elements of O from D. Here in from universal set. Okay, these are the complement set. Using set theory and uh, interval notation, we can find the intersection and uh, union. A is equal to my elements are 1, 4, 5, 9, 13. B is equal to 2, 5, 6, 8, 9. So, uh, these are the using set theory and interval notation. We can find the intersection and union. Uh, this is my A. This is my B. Uh, these are the intersection. Intersection nothing but, see, we have here only 5. See, 1 does not have, 4 does not have, 5 does not have, 5 we have, 6, right. 9 we have, this set have. So, 5, 9 and 5, 9 have same elements in A and B. So, in this port, we have 5 and 9. This port, we have here 1, 4, 13. This port, we have 2, 6, 8. This part we have 5, 9. So, union nothing but, A union B nothing but, this whole thing is union. If I write here union, what we will write here? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 13. This is A union. So A union B is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 13. A intersection B is equal to 5 and 9. So these are the those simple contexts of the set. Okay. Uh, simple example union intersection so i want to pose some problem okay uh, let i am defining uh, a is equal to a b e f h i b is equal to a a c e a and c is equal to d g i a is equal to this and b is equal to this and c right so we want to find that some problem some sets a intersection B, B intersection C, A intersection C, A intersection B intersection C, A union B, B union C. I am writing the A intersection B simply. Already we have wrote, it has A intersection A. A have, so I am writing simple set, A 
a it has a, a right b b does not have a no in this set e e has so a e okay the common element a is another common element so common elements of a and b or a comma e so that means but a intersection b is equal to a comma e similarly b intersection c b c okay you have here b intersection c a c e g d g i here we have common element g b intersection c is g a intersection c a intersection c are nothing but oh, a intersection c is equal to d g i or oh, a union c is equal to d g i oh, what are the common element to i only we have here so a intersection c is i a is b is equal to intersection c or uh, c just now a intersection b is equal to what we have here a comma a intersection c a comma e c does not have any common element therefore a intersection b intersection c equal to empty so we do not cover up this is you can write here pi simply or that equal to empty set so this is empty does not have any element so so this is a union b call common elements you can write all elements not common element you can write all elements of a and b a b c e f g h i uh, b union c is equal to a c d e g i a union c is equal to a b d e f g a union b is equal to this thing all elements right uh, these are the problems so we can already we do that all elements you can write common no that means uh, repetition is not allowed in this set we can write all elements in this including this and this so we will get a in and b, a in c, all the thing, right? So these are the simple problems on doing I did here. Numbers and sets. There are different type of numbers. There are different type of numbers. Cardinal numbers. How cardinal numbers nothing but answer the question how many? How many? First, bracket type. So this will be like cardinality. That means uh, if you find set as s is equal to one, two, three, four, pi, that means uh, we write this is how many numbers are there. That means the number of s, number of elements of a set uh, is usually called cardinality. That means cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are nothing but uh, how many elements? So s is equal to one, two, three, pi number of s equal to 5, the cardinality of s is so 5, so we can ask that how many? Ordinal numbers, such as first, second, third, if s is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, we have first, second, third, such, right, okay, all that are ordinary numbers. Nominal numbers, which are used to name things, example, nominal numbers would be your driver, license number, and your student ID number, Okay, uh, these are the nominal numbers. Okay. The cardinal numbers of a set S is similarly, we can use that number of S, the number of element of S is equal to, if S is equal to blue, red, green, then the number of S is equal to 5, this is cardinal number. To set or consider equal set if the containing exactly same elements. So, uh, already we discussed the set is uh, equal in set if the contains same number of elements is number of a equal to number of that is equal number equal set uh, and uh, all, all uh, we already discussed about the this type of numbers yeah next i want to oh yeah this is very okay very important application of sets application of sets so what are the applications of sets? The people knowingly or unknowingly uh, they are using the applications of a set. Knowingly or unknowingly they are using applications of set. What are the applications of set? Generally you can think that one second. Okay, uh, what are the applications of set? To, uh, generally what we know that uh, oh, S is nothing but set only. It is denoted by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this, all this, the element, what are the applications they are feeling like that, right? We have to understand carefully about the examples of a set. 
what is the definition of say to collection of well defined distinct object is called a set collection of well defined distinct object is called a set okay sunar vichita vibhinna vastulanu samiti antam kada so i here i am using like that okay uh, collection of well defined distinct object so when we are going to mobile shop one shop one yeah okay so how appearance is there here uh, it is looking that i felt that it is clumsy that is mixed it is together all this thing right okay be careful you have to understood and you can see that uh, what has what is happening here you have to be careful you can observe here if i see other picture yeah so application of sets how it is it is see that uh, which shop is better appearing here i felt that mobile shop 2 shafan is is looking the clumsy and shop 2 is uh, it is uh, looking fairly when uh, when we are going to purchase a mobile which shop is suitable you not thinking that uh, uh, it is depends on money though know like that for appearance we have amount lot of amount which shop we can choose for purchasing a mobile or purchasing anything of the accessories for mobile if you see this mobile shop second mobile shop oh this are vivo here some asus and samsung redmi uh, this kind of uh, mobiles or separating there okay in this there are uh, oh, some other brands are there uh, they are also mixing the uh, okay uh, if you go this if you have uh, seen this uh, it is appearing good if we go here is not appearing good uh, so we are unable to purchase anything uh, uh, it not good uh, we will simply reserve the shop and go the going to purchase this if you observing similarly when purchasing the accessories so for uh, garments okay uh, if we observe the uh, uh, shirts so uh, and uh, all these things so uh, in purchasing the clothes to our for ourselves how how you appear if you go to the uh, shops so uh, we saw that uh, diff, uh, there are separately uh, uh, ladies emporium separate and uh, saree separate gown separate children to separate and uh, Men's t-shirts separate and shirts separate and jeans separate and other pants are separate. They are putting like this. If you go some other shop, it is mixing all these things, saris and all these things. Which shop you will purchase? We are unable to purchase. First, first shop. We have to purchase first shop only, not second shop. Why? Because it is looking good. So what is happening there? The people are knowingly, unknowingly from. So year on words, year on words. So uh, we are using the set application of sets, but we are we are don't know all these things, right? Okay. So uh, if we go to the some forest, some trees are uh, okay. We put some trees uh, in some other place in clumsy. If we put uh, some place in in row in a row, but okay, uh, which uh, and in a row and the uh, same. uh type of sets okay same category of sets uh, uh, trees which are looking good no uh, second pot is very good right so what happened here the collection of well defined object here the collection is well defined object or called set why because in this mobile shop the well defined nothing but uh, uh, this are gooding look that what they are in the collection of object or putting together if you observe here it forms it that means uh, the mobile shop of vivos the mobile shop of asus the mobile shop of samsung the mobile shop of redmi redmi so this is the uh, including sets we can take that for my four set also right how do you know that uh, the mobile shop of vivos samsung and redmi asus or the uh, form set you got that unable to get right the we here are complete some the are appearing here So what happened here? The charges, so and uh, memory power, so and uh, 
earphones all these things are different type of uh, are appearing we are unable to judge how to judge them? so this is not good thing good right so that means uh, the applications of sets are used in every place if you go to kitchen also see we are uh, after uh, washing the uh, plates and as a all bowani so all this thing in our house if you washing put some tub right it is not looking good right after washing the tool uh, we can put some tray or uh, some plates in separate place and uh, some glasses in separate place uh, if we have some stand right Gla glove stand or uh, we put all separate separately it is looking nice whereas first one so that's why uh, these are the applications of set uh, we are uh, we have so many shops we have saw already okay uh, these are used in uh, nowadays very well okay uh, so these are the uh, simple brief explanation of sets so, okay uh, thank you for uh, okay for watching this uh, Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, by Doctor Piramlu.